Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the prison series here on royal.mindlucky.net guys And right now I know you know, we don't have a pickaxe in our hand I am currently doing the parkour and the only reason why I started recording is because I literally beat my last high score right now So every single block that I hit wait, whoa Okay, got a little confused right there, but every single jump that we make is a brand new high score for me. And there was a dude talking trash in chat. Okay, I told you guys, I legitimately like just play this off camera whenever I'm just chilling. It's literally a mini game like in itself. But yeah, if I just scroll up Zerd Q right here, um, he said his Royal Online or something like that. And then he says, I see him in front of me going on parkour and lost twice in five seconds. That's because a block literally spawned under me mid jump and it messed up my jump. Like it doesn't really count. Sometimes this is a little luck based. And then he said, watch me beat Royal. And then somewhere down here, he said, I was one off from beating Royal. Um, no, you weren't. But oh my god, look, he's literally in the background right there still trying to beat my score little does he know I am whoa What block do I go to? Oh my bro. See sometimes this is a little confusing But little does he know I just set a brand new high score Hopefully we actually get back on the leaderboard because we were off But I'm doing this parkour until we lose for the intro because I might be able to get number one on the leaderboards As long as we don't choke but eventually sometimes you do get unlucky and a weird block spawn happens and you just lose no oh my god i scammed bro i think i just set the best record though but i literally scammed at the end i was on a roll we made it all the way to 705 i want to take a look at the scoreboard but sorry for the long intro i didn't expect myself to go that crazy i'm not gonna lie and absolutely beautiful number one on the all-time parkour easy mode. All right, there's like a hard one. I don't know if anyone actually does that parkour. Medium's only 58, but what's the hard, bro? The high score on hard is literally 21. But anyways, Zerd, you got cooked, buddy. But guys, since this is kind of like a brand new server, I have played Mind Lucky before, as most of you already know, but we are gonna be doing some giveaways just so some new players, if you guys wanna come hop on and start, you guys can actually get a head start. So we are going to be giving away three Start of the World Plus bundles to three different people, and then one guardian rank which i believe is the maxed out rank on here honestly can you do slash reclaim okay i don't have anything reclaimable unfortunately with the partner rank but yeah if you guys want to enter in the giveaway you guys obviously have to log on to the server with royal.mindlucky.net and then just drop a like on the video and then comment your ign down below the winners will be picked in the third episode of prisons and those start of the world bundles trust me give you a huge head start but anyways if i look into my inventory i actually do have some black market crates some more mega crates and four op pet eggs for today's video because in today's video guys we are going to be grinding and we should fly up in ranks i want to do slash leaderboard and look at rank top but i know rank top now is going to be insane oh wait this is bow top if i look at this season rank top is gonna be crazy oh my god to even get on there you need to get all the way up to rank 500 that is insane don't know if we're gonna get on rank top in today's episode but if we get really lucky with these op pet eggs i think it's very possible but for right now guys what we actually need to cop is a mining armor set i have 54,000 rubies mainly all for my robots but we need to buy just some sort of set i don't know what set is going to be the best i feel like it might be key armor there are some op sets up here that give you multiple like boosts like this one will give you gems and tokens this one is keys and tokens and this one is rubies and rank xp but it costs two hundred thousand dollars to even be able to afford these sets so I think for right now, we just start off with a regular armor set. And I think the key armor might be the best only because I know you can get drills from keys. Now we'll probably show off some drills in today's episode because I think I have like 13,000 keys from just mining. So let's teleport over to our mine. It's basically the same as it was last episode. But actually guys, let's do slash keys and I'll just show you right now. Look at all of the keys we have. So I believe we'll get more armor keys. I don't really know what you get from this. Oh, you can see. So legendary bombs, drills, tokens, PVP points. Wow, what the hell is a tether bomb? Let's just open all of these and look at how many drills we just got as well as bombs Um, I think all of these are literally just for your level because if we pop that we are ranking up and it's getting us Pickaxe XP as well So I think just going for the key armor is gonna be the best because right now I can't lie my robots absolutely carry 
how much like tokens we're making, gems, rubies, all of that. Clearly, whenever I get a higher level pickaxe and we get some better enchants though, we will start making more currencies and stuff. But right now, my robots are carrying. So I want to use like a tether bomb, bro. What does this do? Boom. How big? Oh, oh, it takes blocks like everywhere. Okay. I think these bombs are actually pretty decent. I don't know if I threw one right there. Screw it. Let's just use a legendary bomb right here. See what this thing does. Should just be like a big explosion because it's not a nuke. But yeah. We probably shouldn't use these yet because my mine isn't big enough. We're probably losing out on blocks. And those were just the armor keys, by the way. So let's just go ahead, slash crates, open all 13,000 of these things. Hopefully my inventory doesn't get too full. Q bomb, place this Q bomb onto your mind to create a huge explosion. Yeah, we just have so many things. And boom, we open up all of our keys just like that. Also got us some more tokens, I believe, because now we're at one quadrillion. This is everything we have received. Holy hell. We even get fishing tokens from keys as well. Okay, I've seen enough. I am buying the armor set, the key set for today's video. Eventually, we will move on to the OP armors and stuff, but we can't afford those right now. So key armor, thank you very much. We can upgrade these. I don't know if these are actually worth upgrading, but we have to right click to equip it so boom it is now equipped as you guys can see and should we upgrade it only six thousand rubies i think we upgrade it eight thousand okay this is where it starts to get a little bit expensive so i think i keep the key armor for right now at level three and yeah just store all of these in pv1 for right now as well actually give me the drills we might as well just use these asap and let's move on to opening up these black market keys i don't want the opening to be too long so i'm going to kind of span these a little bit 300 armor keys we're getting some gems some tokens not anything crazy i honestly would prefer to win metal scraps if i'm just going to be real because that gets me more robots and right here we did win we already have 12k metal scraps i think that's enough for like six robots or something so keep dropping these down boom the big ones are going to be the mega crates you can win in insane amounts of like everything dude that's why it's called a mega crate but let me claim all of this real quick boom boom and this is really what matters if we could win another 50k scraps that we won in the last episode that would be insane but i did see someone on the server win a hundred thousand metal scraps from one of these mega crates so boom first one we're gonna take these slow 25k rubies it's a good amount of rubies but do i really want rubies is the thing i think i would prefer some metal scraps so second one more rubies last one please don't give me rubies bro all right 500 trillion tokens at least it wasn't rubies we didn't get metal scraps but you know what it's all good all right because now we are going to move on to the op pet eggs i basically only really want to see ice golem pets and bomber pets out of these so pray to god we get lucky first one is an ice golem pet beautiful 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 oh am i actually gonna have to level these guys up because this one says level one out of four that's fine with me i don't really mind as long as i keep winning them bomber pet beautiful as well another one combination pet it's not great it's not great we do now have two combination pets though and then the last op pet egg please be another snow golem bro three combination pets is tragic but it's all good because either way we did get some upgrades with these pets right here definitely gonna use these and they are going to make a huge difference i guess i'll add some combination pets into the mix but while mining guys i just don't make a lot of gems and rubies or tokens right now but screw it because in today's episode we are going to be flying through progress we are going to be grinding a ton right now i only have seventy-eight thousand blocks mined which is basically nothing so taking a look at the pickaxe guys we already have a decently upgraded pickaxe we have maxed out infinity snap and this enchant actually goes crazy while i was mining off camera for a little bit it was proccing so often i don't know if i was just getting insanely lucky but let's go ahead and proc our shiny ice golem pet right here and see if we can get an infinity snap to proc on camera because it literally destroys half your mine and i would assume this enchant only gets better the higher you rank up and then the bigger your mind gets i feel like it's just like a snowball effect and of course as soon as i start recording oh no we actually just got a proc right there as you guys can see half the mine is gone and we just missed an entire ice cube with our pet because half the mine was gone but that half of the mine it does count towards your rank xp and your pickaxe xp for some reason my pickaxe is level 200 and i'm only rank 165 don't know why there's like such a big discrepancy right there but screw it if my pickaxe is leveling up that's fine because that means we are going to be unlocking new enchants but now the meta is going to be whenever this runs out of charge we only have three percent charge it should run out here very soon um at least i believe and boom your ice golem pet has run out of juice available in eight minutes and 20 seconds seconds now what you do is you switch over to another pet that isn't on a cooldown bang activate our 
before. This one's only level one and it's not a shiny. We're gonna have to level him up a little bit, but we can just switch on to these pets and then hopefully we get enough pets in the future to have an infinite rotation of all of the pets. Ideally, you would want them all to be shiny, but clearly getting a full shiny loadout is extremely rare. Also, in the last episode, I did learn that there are charged enchants on the server. I did end up maxing out Jackhammer. And if you guys read right below it, this upgrade has a charged version. So I clicked on it. And unfortunately, to even unlock the charged version, you need to hit rank 1000. And right now I have to mine 100,000 blocks. The blocks don't really concern me. It is the rank 1000 because we are rank 170. I don't know if we're going to unlock some enchants that like help with our rank XP anytime soon. But right here, we did just unlock Chasm. Um, I have a decent amount of gems. We have 113 million. We can't max this out, but we can get like 35 uh, levels right there. Plus another nine, plus another eight. Boom. We'll keep it like that. I'm not sure how good Chasm actually actually is metal detector have a chance of finding metal scraps and advanced parts while mining you need pickaxe level 300 this enchant actually sounds really good because if i do slash shop you can use advanced parts right here and as you guys can see you can purchase even more pet eggs um, metal scraps and even black market crates we did actually also unlock a ruby enchant which is armor and it, that have the chance to find armor keys while mining um can i mean we could actually max this out for 73 thousand rubies which is basically all of our rubies i don't know if we want to do that i say we get like 10 levels of it and just kind of see how it works how it goes and now our scrolls are giving us almost a trillion tokens per one that we claim getting around 850 to like 880 billion tokens per scroll not bad at all we are definitely starting to make some progress i feel like starting off on prisons is always super slow but then you eventually start to snowball oh my god wait look at the cooldown on this ice golem pet i don't know if shinies just have less cooldown but 13 minutes is insane but now we move on to the bomber pet and then keep doing the same thing and the armor key enchant is actually proccing we just found two armor keys right there so listen guys for right now i think i'm just gonna take a cut i literally just want to mine i don't know what we're gonna get to in today's episode i'm hoping we progress a decent amount and right there oh my god the mine just got destroyed because of the freaking thanos snap thing and now we are moving on to like a fully gold mine at least there's no more iron blocks in it so yeah i'm gonna take a cut i will see you guys in one second we're gonna keep mining off camera and hopefully in the next clip we are a way higher rank with a higher pickaxe level and we can upgrade some more enchants all right guys we're back and we have been mining for a little bit we're ranked 255 but we're about to hit pickaxe level 300 which is why i started recording and right now there are a bunch of global boosters going on. So we have like pick rank XP and then regular rank XP going, which means it is time to grind as much as possible. And wait, would this be a good time to use drills? Guys, I believe drills is probably the best way to level up here on the server. So just like thinking about it and doubling back on my armor set, I believe the key armor set, if you guys are new players trying to rank up, I believe this is the best way to do it because I haven't been mining for too long. I think we went up like 70K raw blocks or something like that. Not too much at all. I want to see how many keys we now have but i do also have like an inventory of scrolls right here that we can go ahead and claim and we are now getting at least one trillion tokens per scroll so that is great i know these scrolls do cap out at a certain level i forgot what level they do cap out at but for right now we are taking advantage of them we're at 1.9 quadrillion tokens and we're about to hit pickaxe level 300 so let me finish doing that and that should unlock a couple of enchants that we can you know spend our currencies on here we're using the ice golem so boom just like that pickaxe level 300 i'll let this one keep charging and now let's take a look first token enchants we have unlocked morphine and we have unlocked electric storm so let's take a look at this to max out morphine we don't have enough all right so enchants are now officially starting to get a little bit expensive but we'll get this one halfway maxed out bang and then we have 1.2 quadrillion left to throw on electric storm because we won't get the next enchant until pickaxe level 350 but tokens bonanza does sound good because we still make dirt poor tokens i am not gonna lie to you wait oh my god i'm an idiot okay we're only gonna put a little bit of tokens into electric storm we had this at level 15 out of 100 20 out of 100 and that leaves us with 800 trillion tokens left over but if you guys take a look at the upgrade gui everything that is flashing orange as you guys can see orange panes has a charged version 
of the enchant. We've already looked at jackhammer and this requires like rank a thousand to actually get the charged version, but not every single enchant actually requires that. As you guys can see, we have just unlocked charged token collector. We got the blocks and we just hit rank 200. So let's go ahead and charge this enchant up and try and max this thing out. I would say 600 trillion tokens. Boom. We have max charged token collector. Um, We can also charge mind bomb. This is an interesting one. How much is this? Only 12 trillion. We'll do that. Not sure how big the explosion is going to be for mind bomb now. Oh, that is, that's pretty big. What other enchants can we max out? Um, Royal Rumble. Oh my God. I might've sold because I see people talking. Oh, you need rank 500. Okay, I lied. So I just wanted to get those charged enchants upgraded. We now have two charged ones on the pickaxe. The ones that are orange are charged. So hopefully we start to make a little bit more tokens with the charged token collector. But hitting level 300, I believe also unlocked the metal detector enchant right here. By the way, Chasm has been a really good enchant. I'm not gonna lie. But I want metal detector start getting some advanced parts and chance to find more metal scraps we're gonna dump all of our gems into this i can't lie to you we can't max it out we can't even get close to maxing it out but there goes all of our gems straight into metal collector and actually if i do slash robots we can craft a couple more robots here bang we are now out of metal scraps once again but let's claim all of these i haven't been afk my robots for too long so i don't think we're gonna have that much currency in there but it's all good because it's gonna be better than nothing what do we got 300 trillion tokens 27 million gems and 5,000 rubies at this rate guys yo we have 81,000 rubies again we might be able to purchase like an op armor set here very soon and one thing that i haven't shown off on the server is you can actually do cfs dude i hate cfing because i hate gambling because i have the worst luck of all time but i think we might try and hit a cf here for like 10,000 rubies i don't actually know how to create them but i see people doing them oh wait click here to create currency or keys wow you can gamble keys and look i already have 10,000 keys once again and again keys are good for drills right i'm going to show you guys another reason why this armor set is probably the armor set you want to go for if you guys want to rank up please type the desired amount of the current wager okay so we want to wager 10,000 rubies in a cf confirm settings it didn't ask me to pick heads or tails but we'll see if anybody takes that ruby cf right there but check this out i just learned this if i go into pv1 we have all of these like q bombs right ton of bombs right here um if we drop them down yeah they're just not big bombs at all but apparently what you can do with these is you can hit a slash salvage on them and literally toss them in here and you can salvage them for basic parts so we're not going to use those cubes we got 119 basic parts that you can spend in the slash shop where you can get temporary op pet eggs you can get drills nukes and then other charged bombs so once again proving why this key armor set is probably going to be the best because slash crates we're going to open all of these all 10,000, and obviously we're going to get some extra drills but we are going to get so many extra you useless bombs here and whoa, whoa 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 we just actually got penetrating bows as well i think that's actually like really good they're only tier one out of five but check these out these ones are cool all you do shoot them straight down and that's what they do helps you with your pickaxe level and your rank xp but right here we can salvage like all this common stuff that are just kind of low tiers we'll throw in the q bombs once again and salvage 417 basic parts just like that so we are currently saving up our way to get a temporary op pet egg or even a mythic drill anything along those lines but since they just activated boosters guys we are going to go ahead and use all the drills that we currently own because there's boosters so probably the best time to start using these things and get some free rank ups maybe i should have kept my common drills not sure but it's all good take a look at our progress right now we're ranked 259 pickaxe level 304 i'm gonna take a cut we're gonna use these drills and we will see where we're at in the next clip okay yeah guys we are on the mega drills now and dude just look at how much we are ranking up how much our pickaxe level is going up and all the scrolls we're getting i had to claim some scrolls because my inventory was literally full and these are just instant it's instant xp bro the hands down best way to level up early game at least okay i don't know how good this is gonna be late game i don't know if it scales super hard but early game trust this is the best way to level up and it's op prisons as well so op prisons is usually a little bit harder until you start to scale and you know get that snowball effect but right now we are flying through them and all we have to do is keep mining to keep getting more keys because we are about to hit rank 300 i think we're actually going to get there because we still have seven drills remaining oh yeah we're getting there easily bro and boom this should be the big rank 300 our mind should change a little bit there we go and boom 
It did change. Wow. What a hell of a way to level up, bro. I don't know how much we just went up pickaxe levels wise. Oh, wait. Boom. There we go. And rank wise, but this was a massive, massive boost. Again, instantaneous XP to level up here on OP Prison. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, I claimed the scroll and it gave me another mega drill. I don't know if it put it in chat, but I'm pretty sure I just claimed the scroll and it gave it to me. I am not complaining. Thank you very much. Can we get another one? Unfortunately, we cannot get another one. It's all good. Now, the other thing that we are focusing on is our battle pass because once again, Battle Pass. You can spend your Battle Pass points in the star shop. I don't know how many I have, but I'm saving up 8,000 to purchase this OP pet egg eventually. Oh, we're almost there because I have at least 6,000 because I can purchase a rare pet egg. So we have to knock out a couple of challenges and try to get to 8,000 and then we can get a completely free OP pet egg. And I believe this is a permanent one. So yeah, we, we need that. So right over here, slash battle pass, you have your missions. I've already completed seven out of 10 for week one. Which ones haven't I done? Let's take a look. This is all completed. Murder monster. I have to kill or get 10 kills in PvP. Not sure if I'll be able to do that one. Oh, drop 64 bombs. Oh, that's easy, bro. I maybe shouldn't have salvaged all of my other bombs, but let's just kind of spam these down. So that way we can complete that challenge and collect the points. And these bombs, by the way, also that you get from keys do actually help you level up. Just not as fast as drills, but there's still instant XP as well as you guys can see whenever they do proc. Let's try like a legendary bomb, bro. Did that end up dropping or did that glitch? Oh, no, that dropped all the way down there. Oh my, bro, these legendary bombs make massive craters. Jesus Christ. I didn't think that would be this crazy. I should have probably held on to some of the useless bombs that we just salvaged. And bang, as you guys can see, we just got 900 points because we have placed all of the bombs. That is beautiful. What other quest can we do? Um, really quickly. What else are we missing? That's done. Oh, find 500k raw blocks. Okay, that one is not something we can get done right now. And then there was actually a parkour challenge. Achieve 100 points on the easy parkour. Clearly, we have done that. So I think you have the weekly challenges, but I think you also get daily challenges right here. Already completed the Emerald Cashier. This one, we only have to mine like 14,000 more blocks. Can easily do that. And then this one is almost completed as well. Earn 2.5k rubies. I don't, I feel like that one's going to be the hardest one. That's going to take the longest at least. Because my ruby enchants on the pickaxe, I don't really think make me a whole lot. But look at that, bro. We just went all the way up to pickaxe level 370. When I started this clip, didn't we just barely hit pickaxe level 300? So like I said, we just absolutely flew through progress. That was a W. But guys, I do think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Prisons. Next video, I promise you, we're going to get a lot more into actually mining and really starting to progress in that video. It's just, it's a brand new server. So I'm showing off all of the new strategies and not all of them require like mining 24 seven, you know, but next episode, I promise we are going to get into a lot of mining. We're already ranked 331, which I wouldn't say is bad. This video is just already long enough. And we're almost at pickaxe level 400 as well. Once we hit 400, we unlock one of the best enchants in the entire game. So I have to start saving up tokens for that. I'm probably going to AFK my robots for a decent amount of time until then. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys drop a like. Sub if you guys are new. Come check out the server with royal.mindlucky.net. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode of the prison series shout out to everybody who has already checked out the server it is super late at night right now and i like just uploaded my first video like an hour or two ago and i already see a bunch of new players online so i just love seeing that shout out to everybody using my ip don't forget to enter in the giveaway and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next episode